everybody, my name's Helen, and today I have a book haul for you. This is my last month in the city, so I was supposed to not buy a lot of books, but I kind of still did. I bought 19 books for myself, 9 books for a friend, and 3 comic books, so it's been pretty intense. So without any further ado, let's just get right into this. So the first two books I got this month are It's Not Summer Without You and We'll Always Have Summer by Jenny Han. These are books two and three in the Summer I Turned Pretty trilogy. I have read the Summer I Turned Pretty. I really enjoyed it. There will be more about that in my wrap up. And as you can see, I am just short of being halfway through It's Not Summer Without You. And the next book that I got is To All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han. And this is her new release, and after reading The Summer I Turned Pretty, I really wanted to read more of her stuff, and I've heard so many good things about this book, and I love the premise of it. Basically, there's this girl, and every time she falls in love, she writes a letter to that boy, and she puts the letter in a box under her bed with no intention ever to send it. It's just a way for her to let her feelings out. And one day she finds out that they've all been mailed out and she has to deal with the aftermath of that. The next book that I have is City of Lost Souls by Cassandra Clare, which is the fifth book in the Mortal Instruments series. And it's the hardcover, so it matches all of my other books at home. And this is like the most pristine copy I've ever seen. I literally got it off of the wheel, like the dolly that they were bringing out the books on because they had just come in brand new shipment. So it's like the newest copy ever and it's so pretty. And basically I'm, I'm excited to dive into this one but I'm nervous about it because I didn't enjoy City of Fallen Angels as much as I enjoyed the first three books. But I want to know where the story is going to go and I'm excited for City of Heavenly Fire because Cassandra Clare does a really good job of finishing off her series. The next book that I got is Howl's Moving Castle by Diana Wynne Jones and basically I've seen the Studio Ghibli animation of this and I love it. It's one of my favorite movies of all time and I saw this copy at a, a new and used bookstore in town and it is brand new and it's beautiful and I just really, really wanted it. So if you don't know, this book follows a girl named Sophie, and really early on she is cursed by a witch, and she looks like a little old lady, and she finds Howl's Moving Castle and kind of gets swept up in the magic of this castle. If you haven't seen the movie, you should go watch it. The next book that I got is Fruits Basket Volume 1 by Natsuki. Takaya, Mitsuki Takaya, and I have already read this entire series before, but I don't own my own copies, and this is a brand new copy, it's in mint condition, and this is one of my favorite series, so I had to get it. It is a graphic novel, and if you don't know, it follows this girl named Toru, and she stumbles upon the Soma family. And basically, the Soma family is cursed by the Zodiac, and if any of them touch someone, like hug them, or are intimate in any way, then by someone of the opposite sex, then they turn into their Zodiac animal. The next book that I got this month is Gone by Michael Grant, and I have seen this everywhere and been debating whether or not I should get it. But I saw Tiernan from the Booktuber who really, really likes this series. It's one of his favorite series. And it sounds actually really cool. It's, um, everyone is gone. All of the adults and, like, grown-ups are gone. And just teens, middle schoolers, and toddlers are left. And they have to figure out how to survive. And the next book that I got is Mistborn, The Final Empire by Brandon Sanderson. This is the fairly ugly American mass market paperback, but I've been really wanting to read this and I found this at a secondhand store for like three dollars, so I was really excited to see it and I really want to read it. I know Reagan from Peru's Project absolutely loves this series and she made me really want to read it. 
The thing that kind of tripped me out, though, because I've seen her copies of the books, and her copies are huge. Like, they're, they're thick. And this doesn't look very thick. So I was wondering if all of it was in here or if it was split into two parts, like they've done with Storm of Swords by uh, George R. R. Martin. But no, this, this tiny little book has uh, 657 pages in it. So yeah, that was interesting. And the next book that I got is uh, The Ninth Key, which is part- it's, it's the second book in the Mediator series by Meg Cabot. And basically, in grades 8 and 9, this was like my favorite book series ever, so I'm trying to slowly collect them. I own the first book already, it's back home, and I found this in a secondhand store for really cheap, and it's in basically perfect condition. And the next book that I have is The Wise Man's Fear by Patrick Rothfuss. This is the second book in the King Killer Chronicles series, I believe it's called. And it's monstrous. Holy crap. But the first book is monstrous too, so that doesn't really surprise me. And basically, I haven't read the first book yet, but I've heard nothing but good things about it. And this was at that secondhand store, and it's in nearly perfect condition. So I just decided why not. Okay, so the next book that I have is Born at Midnight by C.C. Hunter, which is the first book in the Shadowfall series. And I don't know anything about this, but I've heard nothing but good things about it lately, especially from Ben from over at Benjamin of Tomes. And it made me really want to read it. And again, secondhand store for really cheap. Um, so I'm excited to dive into this as well. So the next book that I have is The Mysterious Benedict Society by Trenton Lee Stewart. And this is a middle grade novel about um, these boys who take some tests and then they become like kid spies and they go into like the school and stuff. It sounds really, really interesting and I've wanted to read it for a while and again, secondhand store for really cheap. Basically every book I got this month was from a secondhand store except for five of them. So. Yeah, I didn't spend a lot of money on books, I just bought a lot of books. The next book that I have is Sweet Far Thing by Libba Bray. This is the third and final book in the Gemma Doyle trilogy. And I'm not going to go into the synopsis of this one, obviously, because it's a sequel, and I also haven't read Rebel Angels, so I'd be spoiling myself. Next book that I have I am so excited about, and it is Let It Snow by John Green, Mar excuse me, Maureen Johnson, and Lauren Miracle. And this is uh, three sort of short stories that all like interconnect and everything. And um, Maureen Johnson and John Green are two of my favorite authors. And I haven't read anything by Lauren Miracle, but I've heard really good things about it. And I own every book that John Green has written. And this was the only one that was eluding me. And I finally, finally got it. The next book that I got this month is Altered by Jennifer Alban, and this is the second book in the Cruel World trilogy. And I read Cruel in January and loved it, so I went and bought Altered. But there's been a cover change, and this cover is horrid. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. The first cover, the original cover, I'll put a picture of it right here for Cruel, is beautiful. It's stunning. I literally bought the book because of the cover. And now it looks like this. And and then this one looks like this. And we have a cover for the final book, which is basically the exact same thing, but it's green. And I just I really wish they had kept going with the first cover because they were beautiful, but that's an entirely different discussion for another time. I'm sorry. So the next book that I have is The Farm by Emily McKay, and I know nothing about this book. I've seen it floating around YouTube a little bit in halls lately, and it says on the front here, equal parts Resident Evil and Hunger Games, and just as thrilling. And Resident Evil is one of my favorite video game series, even though it scares the living daylights out of me. And The Hunger Games is obviously The Hunger Games, so it sounds really interesting, and I am really excited to read this. And the next book that I got is The House of the Scorpion by Nancy Farmer. And again, I don't really know a whole lot about this, but it's been floating around YouTube a lot lately. lately. It's been getting a lot of praise, and it's supposed to be really good, like it's won a lot of awards. So I'm really excited to read this soon. So the next book I got I'm super, super excited about, and it is The Archive by Victoria Schwab. 
And this is a second-hand store buy. It is scratched up, like, it's crazy how scratched up this is. And it's got, like, a couple of folded pages in here, actually. Hold up, that's not cool. Mm. But it was the only place where I could find this book anywhere in town. None of the other bookstores carried it, so as soon as I saw it, I was like, I don't even care. It's mine, I want it, and it was cheap. And the final book that, like, the final actual book that I bought for myself this month is Dorothy Must Die by Danielle Page, and basically I've been waiting for this for the whole year. I love The Wizard of Oz, I love the, like, all of the stories surrounding The Wizard of Oz. I love the original Wizard of Oz, I love Wicked, I'm loving the new story arc of Once Upon a Time, like, anything to do with Wicked right now, I am just in love with, and this book sounds amazing. It is about this girl named Amy, and she gets uh, brought to Oz by the evil witches who have now sort of become the good witches, because Dorothy is basically the Hitler of Oz. And then the last uh, three things I'm going to show you, I, I am going to show you because they, they're still kind of cool, uh, they just aren't, like, bookbooks. And those are Guardians of the Galaxy comics that I got this month, and I love Guardians of the Galaxy. I have recently started collecting a whole bunch of stuff from it, especially the comic books, so whenever I see them I kind of have to buy them. And I have here volumes 24, 26, and 27. And there are 62 volumes in total, so I'm slowly making my way to owning all of them. But yeah, if you've never heard of Guardians of the Galaxy, there's a new movie coming out in August, and it looks amazing. It looks hilarious. I'm so excited for it. Plus, the pace is gonna be in it, so that's always a fun. Yeah, that's it. Those are all of the books that I got this month. Uh, what books did you get this month? Let me know in the comments down below. If you would like me to do a like review or discussion of any of the books you've seen in this video, let me know. I love to hear from you. And all of my social media links will be in the doobly-doo, so feel free to look me up and add me on those. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I will see you soon with a new video. Bye!